Okay, so I think it's time we actually start talking real. Like, we, we really need to start being real with Nintendo because, you know, I, I'm a massive Nintendo fan. I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching this video is a massive Nintendo fan. I love my Switch. I mean, I recently just bought Paper Mario yesterday. I bought Paper Mario and the Origami King yesterday. Still haven't had a chance to play it. I'm really excited to play it. But we need to talk about Nintendo. We need to talk about Switch. And, and more importantly, we need to talk about Nintendo's old-fashioned mentality. Now, I, I always had criticisms with Nintendo, the way they handle things. But it, the, the Nintendo Direct today was, was god-awful, to say the very least. I mean, they didn't show anything. They, they Let's not forget, year one of the Switch's cycle, when the Switch came out, the birth of the Switch, year one, we got Metroid Prime 4. We got a logo for Metroid Prime 4, like, I think a few months after that. And we got Bayonetta 3, or, yeah, Bayonetta 3. We haven't seen anything from those games, right? Nothing. They haven't even told us what was going on with those games. If they're canceled, just tell us they're canceled. Don't pretend like you didn't show it because you showed it. And every Nintendo Direct, we're all sitting here going, oh, well, maybe we're going to get Metroid Prime 4. Oh, oh maybe maybe Bayonetta 3, right? Like, every Direct, you have us sitting there thinking this stuff. If it's not going to happen, just tell us it's not going to happen, okay? The problem is Nintendo is very old-fashioned with their mentality, Right, they don't understand what makes gaming gaming in this generation. Now, I will always stand by the fact that Nintendo has the best exclusives. Okay, you can argue that point PS4, Xbox, whatever. Nintendo has the best exclusives. Nintendo has Breath of the Wild, it has Mario Odyssey, it has so like Animal Crossing, Pokemon. You name they have the best exclusives. Okay, but let's not pretend like Nintendo is perfect because they're not. They completely mishandled their online service so much, in fact, that after the first year, I just canceled it. I, I, I don't care. I understand it's like $20 a year. I don't care. I don't play the online service enough. Yes, I know you threw in Nintendo and Super Nintendo Classic games in there. That's fine. I don't care because you know what? I have the NES and SNES Classic, so I don't need to pay to rent your service online. The online game modes are all awful. It's hard to even connect with your friends online when you want to play. Hey, I want to play Mario Kart. It's almost impossible to connect with your friends. Mario Party was a goddamn disaster, you know, like you can't even play Mario Party with your friends, you had to play like mini games, so the online service was not good, and they refused to make it better, like I shouldn't have to enter in a social security number to send a friend code to somebody, what's so hard to send there saying, hey, this is my gamer tag, send your code, oh, and then when that person's on, I can't even sit there and send them a message. Hey, do you want to play Mario Kart? No, you can't do that. You know what I have to do? I have to pull out my phone, either call that person or text, hey, you want to play Mario Kart? When they're sitting there and they are on the console. It shows them they are online. What's the point of me knowing they're online if I can't even talk to them to, to ask them if they want to play? It, Nintendo, you come out, you do great things. This is a great thing. I love the fact that I can take this on the go and I can plug it in and play whatever I want to play on my screen. I love that you're innovative. I know, you know, you gotta try to, you know, push the envelope of what you can do with these consoles. I get it. Again, you put out great exclusive content, but you take like two steps forward and five steps back. You don't understand what makes gaming gaming anymore. You know, your online service is awful. You're not even trying to even correct that. When when Mario Mario Maker 2 came out, the online for that was... Tr tr God, I can't even talk. I'm so mad. Um, it was absolutely horrendous. And you're not even trying... Like, I think they fixed it a little bit, but even then, it's like still very, very broken. You know? And, and it's like, why aren't you like... Look... I understand you probably have a lot on your plate and you're working on new things and all that stuff, but here's the thing. Why aren't you letting us, like, why aren't you correcting these things? Why don't you guys come out and go, hey, we understand our online service isn't the best, but we're trying to tweak it up a little bit, you know? Look what PlayStation did. When the PS3 came out, it didn't have party chat with the online service or nothing. PS4 came out, they gave us, you know, the online chat and all that stuff. Look, I'm not saying you have to give us a party chat. That would be great. You know, if you gave us a party chat and let us chat with at least one other person, but we don't even have the ability to send messages? 
Then you come out with this direct. You introduce Cadence of Hyrule DLC. You introduce um, like this, this third person online game. You introduce you know two games, like one game that's remastered of a game I never even heard of. And the majority of the people here in this country and maybe other countries, maybe Australia, maybe over in Europe, never really heard of these games. And then you're like, hey, we got three and then five coming. It's like, what's going on? What's going on? The year is half over. We don't know what the big games are for Nintendo Switch. Xbox and, and Sony, we kind of know what they're doing. They came out, been very transparent with everything. Where Nintendo's kind of like always playing things to, close to their vest. We don't know what's coming out. What is the next big game? What's the next big game? We have Paper Mario and Origa Origami Trail, which I'm hearing mixed reviews on. And I don't know. I don't know. But Nintendo has to get out of this mindset to where, you know, you're afraid to announce things and you're afraid to expand in the next gen of gaming, right? There's no reason why the Nintendo Online service doesn't have messaging. And we shouldn't have to put in a phone number in order to to um, send a, a, you know, a friend request. And I don't mean like a literally phone number or a social security number, but that friend code, that's ridiculous to try to put in. It's so easy to just put in a, a, a gamer tag, you know? And, and again, where's Bayonetta 3? Where's Metroid Prime 4? What's going on with the Metroid Prime Trilogy HD collection? Well, like, it's an HD collection. Like, you could easily just sit there and say, hey, you know, um, you know, we're not, we're, we actually did this. We did announce it, but it's not working. We're going to have to scrap the game. Fine, let us know. Because every time there's a direct, you have tons of YouTubers like me going, oh, they're going to announce Metroid, Metroid Prime 4. They're going to announce it. Metroid Prime 4, they're going to announce Bayonetta 3. That's going to happen, guys. I guarantee you. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Yep, HD collection. That's happening nothing and then you give us some obscure game that none of us really care about and most of the time these directs are really good you give us a direct it's really really good um you know even if you have a couple disappointing games you have like one big game that makes it like really worthwhile and as this direct this morning what do we got other than chaos of hyrule dlc and a possible physical collection uh i don't know but um you know nintendo i i support you i love my switch i take this thing everywhere i go you know, it's still my favorite console of this generation. That's above the PS4, above the Xbox One. You know, I love the fact that I have so many games I can take on the go. It lets me play a lot more games at work. You know, I, I yes, I love that. I really, really do. But I'm sorry, man. You The, the Direct was very, very disappointing. And I, I want Nintendo to stop getting in Nintendo's way. You know, Nintendo finally opens up. They start to get bigger AAA games, you know, more third-party titles. And then they, they just close down. It's like they don't get it. They don't understand that, you know, simple things count. Simple things like, hey, I don't mind paying for your service, your online service. I would pay $60 a year for your online service. But you have a, you have to give us ability of wanting, you have to give us a reason to want the online service, right? You can't sit there and go, well, here's some Nintendo games, two Nintendo games, that's worth the service, right? No, it's not. It isn't. And I shouldn't have to jump through hoops in order to play Mario Kart with my friends or Mario Party. Oh, my God. And again, Direct, very disappointed. I don't understand why Nintendo even released that Direct. They could have came out in any kind of statement and said, yeah, boom, 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 done. You know, there was nothing to that Direct. At the end of the day, that Direct was pointless. It was absolutely pointless. There was no reason why they, that couldn't have been announced anywhere. Ah. Anyway, guys. That's my thoughts on it. I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about the current state of Nintendo? Did you like the Direct? Do you, I mean, how do you, like, I feel like I'm kind of being, like, too hard. But at the same time, I'm just tired of the same old Nintendo stuff. You know, I want to see them succeed because it's a brand that I really, really love. And I want to see better games from Nintendo. But anyway, guys, leave those comments in the comment box below. Tell me what you guys think. Be sure to leave those comments. Um, I'm just repeating myself at this point. That's how tired I am. I am tired. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.